How are you guys doing? My name is Cashstroke.doom and today I'm going to be showing you how to make the Xerox effect live. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll show you a video right now. Alright, so now that you have an understanding, I do want to state one thing. This template was not stolen nor purchased. I recreated it all through Photoshop throughout the tools that's available. Alright, let's not waste any more time and let me help you make this template now. Alright, so you're going to want to have Photoshop open, make a new file, have a 15 by 15 file, black background, okay? So next thing you're going to want to do is make a new empty layer. With that empty layer, you're going to want to convert it into a smart object, correct? All right. Now that your thing is a smart object, just double click it. And you're going to want to place an artwork in here. Okay, okay, okay. All right. I thought this AI made girl with the ball. So next thing you're going to want to mask it out next thing you're going to want to make is a levels clip it turn it off because we're not going to need it right now next thing you're going to want to do is create a pattern i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys already have a pattern hopefully so this is my grain pattern if you don't know how to make one i'll show you right now so you're going to want to grab an empty layer press shift delete 50 percent noise noise boom let's just turn this one off for now now you're going to want to clip that as well set that blend mode to overlay now you press command save and it should update in your original template so far template what you're going to want to do now is go get a threshold play a threshold right here and you're going to want to group that oops it's grouped, we're gonna call this Thresh Boy. Then you're gonna wanna group that group again one more time. We call it shadows for now. On top of that shadows, you're gonna wanna have a solid color. So get a solid color, pick up every color that you like. Pick this one for now. And place that on top of the shadows. Clip it, and then you're gonna to want to group it one more time. Shadows. Hopefully you guys are following along. If you guys can see my screen, on how many folders I have, it's right there. All right, so now that we made it this far, all we're gonna to want to do is go to our Thresh Boy folder, double click it, and where you see current layer, you're gonna to want to drag that all the way to the bottom. You see that? Since we're working with shadows, we're going to drag this threshold all the way to the top. Um, something like around there, right? So all you're going to want to do now is just duplicate that group where it says shadows on the top of it, the first folder. We're going to call this midtones. On midtones, just change it to a different color. I'm going to do that. And next thing, go back to the threshold. Change it to the middle. You see that? Now you're gonna to wanna to duplicate the midtones again, the midtones group, and put highlights. And again, change the color and quick. All right, so there's your midtones. Go back to the, I mean, not midtones, highlights. So the next thing, go to your threshold and just drag it down. But you have the idea now, right? So next thing I usually do is change, change the colors on each folder. And so I don't get confused. Cool. So we have a template so far now. It looks pretty cool, right? But it doesn't look that pretty. So let me change it up. All right. So I did some adjusting, something that I thought would look much more pretty, more cohesive with the colors together. But we're basically done now. But first, I'm going to go over how you can use a different type of texture or pattern, I mean. So all you're going to want to do is just go back to your original artwork. So you click on one of these folders, you know, they're all going to work the same. Double click it. Now let's say I had some half tones, right? Let's go to our pattern and hopefully you guys have a half tone uh, pattern. So I'm going to choose half tones. I'm going to change the, I'm going to make the half tones a little bit bigger and we're going to want to change that to overlay and don't forget to save. 
Once it's saved, it should update back to your original tab. You see that? It updated. Now let's say I want to go back and shrink it. Save it again. Cool, right? Another thing I wanted to show you. Remember how I told you to make a levels? So you want to click that. Now let's say you wanted to add some more shadows in certain spots. You increase the shadows, invert that mask, grab your brush, shrink it, make it soft. Hardness should be very low and just start painting. So you, let's say you want more shadows and you want her face to show a little bit more than her areas, right? All right, I've been adding some shadows. I like it. And guess what we do? We save. Save. I'm just gonna exit out. See that? It changes. Now let's say you wanted to add some like less pink in some area, right? Usually I would just play around with the threshold folder and add a mask, or sometimes I'll just do the shadows in the middle and add a mask. Let's say I wanted to take away some pink on her face, right? Or in her shoulders, let's put it that way. So we're gonna want to grab a white brush, start painting. I don't want pink right there. I don't want pink right there. I don't want pink right there. You see that? If I want to do her face, I'll do that too, but I want the pink on her face. But actually, I don't like the pink on her face. It looks way much better. Hopefully you guys are following along. Like I said, just look at my screen. Look at the folders I'm playing with. I said on the Threshboy folder, I, I, I made a mask. And it's the same as for the shadow ones. All right, so let's say you just wanted to add another color, right? I'm just gonna duplicate my highlights. I duplicated my highlights and I'm gonna change the pink color to, let's say like a blue. And I'm just gonna delete this mask since we just duplicated it. And next thing we're gonna want to do is go back to the threshold and just play with it one more time. I could probably add a little hint, some little accents of blue. Let's say I don't want the blue on the ball, this crystal ball, whatever. Boom, just like that. All right, y'all, so I think that's about it for the video. I helped you create a template from scratch from all the tools that's included in Photoshop. And once again, I'm gonna repeat myself one more time. I did not purchase, I did not buy this template. I recreated it through Photoshop, utilizing Photoshop tools and my techniques. But other than that, my name is Castro and peace out.